a touch, a kiss in passion's embrace, love's eternal, a timeless grace in the heart's realm. Forever we roam in love's embrace, we find our home. This is what Chad GPT thinks about a love poem. Love has been used to form a nation. Love has been used to form a religious practice as a doctrine. Uh, love has formed uh, to have set rules and regulations. Love mirrors cultural norms, uh, cultures, and also molds it and it goes back and forth. In a society that is much more individualistic, where the principle of authenticity plays a much bigger role. So people have been excluded from love relationships, from sexual relationships, all throughout human history. But who is being excluded has drastically changed. Dating apps are not geared toward finding fulfilling relationships. Their goal is to keep up engagement. The goal for the dating apps is, of course, not love, but profit. What is the true love? Mm. Because there exist many versions of love, so what is the true one? Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to Standard Time, a Eurozine production. This is mainly a talk show with guests from all over Europe, but today we're also a dating advice column. But unlike WikiHow, we don't offer 20 plus surefire signs to know if a person truly loves you. We do, however, hope to offer you a perspective on affection in a consumerist society. A do-it-yourself toolkit for understanding love. I would like to think that love is, on the one hand, a power, a force, an emotion that transcends social orders. And on the other, it's a very malleable, adaptable um, thing that every society can use uh, in order to, to create the, the culture that society it, 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 uh, strives for. Love, at least the way it is conceptualized in the current society, seems to be the end goal. And it gives a lot of the other things that we do its final cause, its final reason. And this is much more clear now with dating apps where people swipe left and right and make split-second decisions. Um, and there are many people who just, after years of trying, feel like this will never work, I will never be able to change this, and then basically give up on life. And all the things that follow, whether it is self-hatred or resentment towards women, towards whatever group that they see as somehow being responsible, usually society as a whole. When you're trying to love yourself, the majority of the time you, you are probably working with nothingness. And, and, and that nothingness might probably be seen as a delusional things that you are doing. And I really, like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I refuse, I'm, I'm going to remain delusional and really work on that uh, conjuring of knowledge and really like, you know, and then, and then really create something that I can touch that is tangible for me. You are, quote unquote, born with a capacity for love, but you don't come into this world with the knowledge and an understanding and the mechanism yeah. for love. Oh, that's, that's, that's quite beautiful. Um, yeah, I think we I have born... teenagers, I'm transforming them from <laughs> unconditional love to something Probably to give just, back. <laughs> it might teach you more than reading a lot of books. Mm -hmm.